Welcome to the Folktale Project, this is Dan Schulz. Today, we have another Greek folktale, and this one comes to us from Aesop. And those who have listened to the podcast for a while know how much I love to go to the Aesop well, and how kind of interesting each story can be. And even though they're short, they're really packed full of thought and care and you know, those morals that we look to Aesop's fables for. This is The Hare with Many Friends. A hare was very popular with the other beasts who all claimed to be her friends. But one day she heard the hounds approaching and hoped to escape them by the aid of her many friends. So she went to the horse and asked him to carry her away from the hounds on his back. But he declined, stating that he had important work to do for his master. He felt sure, he said, that all her other friends would come to her assistance. Then she applied to the bull and hoped that he would repel the hounds with his horns. The bull replied, I am very sorry, but I have an appointment with a lady. But I feel sure that our friend, the goat, will do what you want. The goat, however, feared that his back might do her some harm if he took her upon it. The ram, he felt sure, was the proper friend to apply to. So she went to the ram and told him the case. The ram replied, Another time, my dear friend. I do not like to interfere on the present occasion, as hounds have been known to eat sheep as well as hares. The hare then applied as a last hope to the calf, who regretted that he was unable to help her, as he did not like to take the responsibility upon himself as so many older persons than himself had declined the task. By this time, The hounds were quite near, and the hare took to her heels, and luckily escaped. So it goes that he that has many friends has no friends. And that is the hare with many friends, coming from ancient Greece and Aesop. I like this story, but... I feel like the moral that has been presented in this particular edition is a little bit off. And it's not that one who has many friends has no friends, it's that we really should pick better our friends. The hare in this case, yes, she had too many places to turn and thus wasted her time by and large, but still, she could have chosen better. This is Dan Schulz for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As always... Thank you so much for listening.